Today is Monday, November 10th. A father-son hunting in the Garden Valley area have gone missing. We'll have the latest. I'm Taylor Becker. And I'm Leah Downs. Hummingbirds are a lot tougher than you may think. We'll tell you how tough that is. Your CSN News starts now. Boise father and his 13-year-old son are missing after a planned weekend hunting outing. Boise police say the pair left Boise on Saturday to hunt in the area above Garden Valley. They stayed Saturday night in a motel, then called home Saturday morning to report that the weather was getting bad. According to a release from the Boise police, the pair was supposed to return to Boise on Sunday, but haven't been heard from since the phone call that morning. The family called the police when they didn't return Sunday. Search teams will resume work this morning. Man was found dead in his car in Ontario early Sunday afternoon. Nampa PD said in a press release late Sunday. They are now investigating the case as a homicide but released no additional information Sunday. Police feared the man had been kidnapped on Saturday and their worst fears were realized yesterday. No word on why or who kidnapped him but neighbors reported hearing shots on Saturday. Officers simply say an altercation took inside the home. Hummingbirds may look cute with their colorful plumage and those long, delicate beaks, but don't be fooled. A new study shows that male hummingbirds use those beaks like swords, viciously stabbing rivals in the throat to keep them away from their ladies. That makes the hummingbird the first bird known to use his bill as a weapon. What's more, finding this, the ornithologist rethinking ideas about the evolution of tiny birds and now believes that the pointed beak evolved as a weapon and that drinking nectar is a side benefit. And it turns out that hummingbirds can live as long as 10 years and can travel huge distances. One bird was captured in Florida, tagged and released, and caught again in Alaska. That's a trip of 40, 3,500 miles. We'll be right back after these messages. Hey, bud, uh, teacher parking. Can't be parking here. Student parking's in the rear. Violators will be terminated. It's college application week for all seniors. Seniors, be ready to apply to at least one college on November 11th. 12th and 13th. You will have the opportunity to apply to colleges of your choice while receiving assistance from teachers and counselors. If unsure what colleges to apply to, the Career Center will be hosting sessions where students can meet with teachers from different colleges and answer questions about their experiences. The sessions will start during lunch on November 10th and run through Friday, November 14th. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Kimball in the Career Center. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 50 to low of 24. Tomorrow's high is 44 with a low of 19, which is very cold. The at-risk attendance sheets have been posted in the foyer. Please take a look. If your student ID number is on one of the sheets, you need to talk to your grade level attendance dean about appealing for credit. Freshman, that's Mr. Neto. Sophomore, find Mrs. Perlman. Juniors, Mrs. Keister, and seniors, Mr. Ewing. There will be a brief football meeting this Friday after school. All students that finish the football season, please attend. The football banquet is Tuesday, November 11th at 6 p.m. in the Commons. The first annual Winter Cat Blast will be hosted by the Wildcat Boosters on November 15th from 5 to 7 p.m. Come join the introductions of winter teams and clubs. There will be food, fundraisers, and games. Attention wrestlers! The final required mandatory meeting in the wrestling room today after school. Everyone must attend. There's no exceptions. If you're wrestling this season, you will be at the meeting. Attention students and staff. Veterans Day is coming soon and Columbia ASB will continue to honor those who served by hosting the 7th annual Veterans Day luncheon. This year's event will take place next Wednesday in the library and will run from 11 to 1230. As always, Olive Garden will be catering and will also feature an array of great desserts. Sign up for this tribute to those in uniform in the main office today. Trying out for boys basketball? Tryouts are going to be held Thursday from 3 to 6 and Friday from 8 to 10 a.m. Be sure you're, to get your paperwork in. You could bring it to the last open gym on Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. or bring it to Coach Young by Wednesday. Today's SAT Word of the Day is influx, a noun that means streaming together or continual incoming, a place where two rivers join. You can use it in this way. After advertising their programs in Tokyo newspaper, the language school received an influx of students from Japan. 
That's the news. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Wildcat Wire.